Hi guys, I'm just making a quick video today about a fictional character whose beloved books spanned decades and whose uh, republication came with some question marks because some of the language used in the older books was a little problematic. No, I'm not talking about James Bond. I'm talking about Simon Templar, the saint. So stay tuned and I will explain everything. Hi guys, it's me, and um, I, I found out today by looking at my Facebook memories that today is a special day. Because nine years ago today, for the first time in a long time, the Saint books by Leslie Charteris were republished. And they had 49 editions republished and relaunched in the United States with these, these bold covers. And it was kind of an exciting time. And it was especially exciting for me. Because out of the 49 books, each one had an introduction by somebody who was, you know, interested in or invested in uh, the saints. So I think they had like Ian Ogilvie who played the saints. I think they, did they have Roger Moore? I can't, I can't remember. I think he was still alive then. Anyway, they had some really famous, interesting people write forwards to some of these saint books. And this particular saint book, Send for the Saint, originally published in 1978, I wrote the forward to. Can you believe that? I wrote the forward to this book. It's all thanks to a chap called Ian Dickerson, who uh, is just a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, he gave me the opportunity to, to have my forward included in a saint book. It's like, look, it, it's amazing. Send for the Saint, forward by Roland Hume. It was a huge, huge deal. I, it's still one of the things I'm most excited about. I got into writing and reading because of the saint. I still have him. This is probably... My favourite book. It's a 1930 edition of The Last Hero, which then became uh, The Saint Closes the Case. And, you know, I've got editions like that. I've, You think I have a lot of James Bond books? I've got even more Saint books all over the place. Look at this beautiful book. Oh, I love it. But for me, it was it was really exciting to see the Saint books in print again. And the covers were good. And it, it raised one question prior to publication, though. These are books that dated back, I think the first Saint book was 1928. Uh, I can't quite remember. But they used, shall we say, robust language throughout. The Saint books have never really been, like, troublesome to the same extent of, say, the James Bond books. The James Bond books, you know, Ian Fleming was uh, was... A white British guy uh, from a certain background, so he used robust language when he talked about you know people of other races. Um, the the author of the Saint, Leslie Charteris, was himself half Chinese, and um, that meant throughout. I think he he wrote a bit more respectfully about other races. He still used you know he would describe a black person as a Negro in these books because that's the term that you used for pretty much the entire span of the, the time in which uh, Leslie Charteris wrote books. But on the whole, you don't find sort of problematic language in the Saint books to the same degree that you do in the James Bond books. But it's not, you know, there are sections that modern readers might be like, oh, interesting. And so the question arose back then when these books were republished in 2014. What do you do with that? And they came up the series editor, Ian Dickerson, came up with um, a solution that is elegant in its simplicity. And it's one that I think the estate of Ian Fleming should have done themselves. It's, and that is, he wrote in the front, Publisher's Note. The text of this book has been preserved from the original edition and includes vocabulary, grammar, style and punctuation that might differ from modern publishing practices. Every care has been taken to preserve the author's tone and meaning, allowing only minimal changes to punctuation and wording to ensure a fluent experience for modern readers. So that's literally like replacing uh, colons with semicolons with cursors or things. I think, I'm not sure. One thing I do know is they didn't edit the language. Uh, so if there were passages in any of the saint books, any of the 49 saint books that contain words or phrases or attitudes that might be considered problematic today they were preserved because these books were written at a time when people used language and spoke differently and had different attitudes and those attitudes weren't necessarily you know uh, what we would find acceptable today but these books preserve that and that's the, the funny thing about the saint i mean the James Bond books, there were 12 of them written in the span of a decade. The Saint books, you know, first one was in 1928. This one 
It was published in 1978 originally. So you think, what, 50 year span of this saint having all these adventures, you know, never aging. So even within the saint books themselves, attitudes in the early saint books, the attitudes that were acceptable in the early saint books wouldn't be in the later saint books. I mean, it's, it's an amazing evolution of like language and storytelling. I would admit this book, the two stories contained with it weren't actually written by Leslie Charteris. They were written and then approved by Leslie Charteris. Towards the end, he wasn't writing everything. Um, but he still oversaw and signed off on all the same books. So it's so interesting to see the evolution of language, attitudes and things. And they always had just a, a bit more sensibility, a bit more sensitivity, I think, just because of what the Leslie Charteris experienced in his own life. I mean, he when he moved to America in the 1940s, he had to register every six months with the government because he was half Chinese, Asian. And so if you were Asian of any kind, you had to register with the government and the Japanese people would be put in, intern in um, internment camps. I mean, it was it was kind of horrific and extremely racist. And so I think he understood what it was like to not be the dominant in the dominant white culture, even though because he came from a well-to-do background, he... He kind of lived in the dominant white culture, yet never being accepted by it. So his books are less problematic, but I think the way that uh, the, uh, the series editor, uh, Ian Dixon, and the, and the publishers and the, the state of Leslie Charter has dealt with this, with that very simple preface, is the right way to go about things. Books are books, and they preserve a snapshot of a moment in time. And if you start editing the language and, and switching out one word for another... It might be done with the best of intentions, but it's always going to be inadequate. Um, so, I don't know. It's just worth mentioning. But also, if you haven't read any Saint books, they're still online, available, Kindle editions. They've got uh, these beautiful paperbacks. I think, I don't know if these are print on demand. I think they might be, but they're really nice. They're really nice. And uh, I would definitely recommend picking one up. Maybe the Saint in New York is a good one. Uh, Saint closes the case. Pretty, really good, really good read. So, definitely worth picking up those um do you think that the, the attitudes uh at the time are best reflected with like a little uh, publisher's note like they have in the same books or you know is there another better more elegant way that the estate of Ian Fleming could have handled the uh, issues with their books I don't know let me know down in the comment section below and uh I promise to keep stop <laughs> to stop making videos about this at some point but you know there's still there's a lot to talk about it's a lot to talk about when it comes to censoring old books and whether you should do it or whether you shouldn't do it. And, and you know, spoiler alert, you shouldn't do it. Uh, but uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below and I'll be back soon with another video. Ciao. I'm Roland Hume. I've sold 67,000 copies of my books. If you want to find out how I did it, I've got the link right here you can click. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. Thank you.